Hey guys, Barry here and welcome back to IGS and welcome to Eliza. This is an early hands-on. This game is out soon. Massive thank you to Zach Tronics for this hands-on, of course. Now, yeah, I saw this game. I was like, wow, this looks quite unique. That's cool. Hello. Okay, let's start the game. So this game saves automatically. You can pick up where you left off by selecting the continue from the main menu. Okay. I had a dream this morning, but I can't remember what it was. It all vanished when the alarm went off. First time that's happened in a while. I've been drifting away inside my own world for too long. It's time for me to wake up. Okay, I wasn't sure if she was going to read anything, but uh, geez, that's quite loud, isn't it? Hold on. One, two, testing. One, two. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so uh, what are you supposed to do on the light rail? Use your phone, I guess. Or look around. So continue here. Next stop, Capitol Hill Station. What phone is that? <laughs> I don't need to play this again. I should delete it. So we can choose here. Let's go check our mail. Evelyn, we want you back. Was it something we said? Evelyn, we've noticed you haven't checked into your into your customized personal training plan at Avalon Fitness in the last 971 days. We get it. Life doesn't always move in a straight line. That's why we're offering a special 25 point bonus to your Avalon Prestige if you check in again within the next two weeks. There's never been a better time to get your health back on track. Avalon Fitness, strength quantified. Dear Evelyn, uh, as you know, Aubrey, congratulations. You are taking the first step on an exciting and rewarding career with the uh, Skanda family, I think it is. Please show up prompt, uh, promptly for your orientation meeting at 9 a.m. Friday, January 3rd. Okay. I might look at this later, when I want to relax. This was fun, but I think I'm done with it now. I'll give this, another, uh, this game another try soon. Not right now, though. Let's try uh, wellness. The gym already nags me about not working out. I don't need more of that. Eliza. Powered by Skanda. It's so strange to see it like this. Okay. What should I do here? What should I be doing here? Should I check in at the front desk? Wait, there's the woman I met at the orientation meeting last week. Hi, you're Evelyn, right? You remember me? That's impressive. There were a lot of people at that orientation. Of course, I've done this for a while now, so I'm pretty good at putting names to faces. People always say they're bad at it, but it's a skill you can practice just like any other. In case you forgot though, I'm Ray. Hi Ray. Come to me with all your questions, comments, complaints, whatever. And if you look around and can't find me, I'm probably at one of the other two counseling centers I'm running right now. So you can count on me being back soon. 
Three centers. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, it is a lot of work. This is kind of a temporary thing. We're growing fast and hiring is one of our big challenges. That means there's decent opportunity for advancement here, if that's something you're looking to do. So you can choose interesting or probably not, but that's good to know. Interesting? Interesting. Shall we start with a quick tour of the office? Race starts with a tastefully appointed lobby. There are a few people already waiting for the council session to start. You could say the Queen Anne office is Eliza's flagship location. Yeah, for the record, sorry, this game is actually out tomorrow on the Switch. So if you don't know what this is, Eliza is a story about an AI therapist. The people who develop it and the people who use it. It has 12 individual counseling rooms. Currently, we're up to seeing almost 100 clients a day here. Yeah, it's not too big either. It's only 426 megabytes. Not too bad. A hundred a day? That's so many. The growth trend isn't stopping either. Demand for Eliza keeps exceeding our expectations, especially here in Seattle, for whatever reason. We're already looking at adding more capacity here. Either that or opening another location close by. Personally, I think having a single office with 24 counseling rooms might seem a little unfriendly, so I hope we go for a second location. I like to think of Eliza centers like cafes or coffee shops. A few small ones is better than one big one. Makes sense. Counseling centers like coffee shops? Odd metaphor. Really leads me into one of the counseling rooms. And here's where the magic happens, in these little rooms. So if I press X here, hold up. So I can go on the phone. I will say visually it's stunning. I like, I love the artwork, it's great. You'll get your assignments from the Eliza app on your phone. Oh, one thing to note, it's always a good idea to double check the headset to make sure it's working properly before you dive in. We've had some quality control issues lately. After that, all you need to do is initiate the session and follow the instructions. Make sense so far? Any questions for me? I think I got it. Great. Before I go, just a few reminders of things we covered in orientation. No deviating from the script that Eliza gives you. No checking your smartphone or anything else that would take your attention away from the client during the session. Yes, I understand. So Ray stops for a moment and looks me over. It looks like you're dressed acceptably as well. Nothing snazzy, but it'll do. You wouldn't believe the outfits some people come in here wearing. Okay, let me double check to make sure you're all set up in the system. Ray takes out her phone and swipes a few times. Yep, looks like you're all good to go. Thanks, babe. Okay, ready to start your first counseling session as an Eliza proxy? Sure. Don't worry, there's basically nothing you can do to mess it up. You just follow the prompts. It's a really impressive system. If you want, have a look around the counseling office first. Get comfortable. I'll check in with you afterward. Okay, so let's check here, huh? Proxy. Fair enough. Oh. So, stick to the script, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Coffee here. Do I want coffee? Actually, I think I'll skip it. So there are dozens of these locations already. Scanda is putting some serious investment into this. Climb out the window. 
I hope spring comes soon. At least the days are getting longer now. Let's continue. Time to get started. It really looks like there's a, looks like a therapist's office in here. Soft lighting, soothing art on the walls. Was this how I imagined it working? I can't remember anymore. The future happened without me. Welcome to Eliza. So here we have Dar Darren Willows. The headset activates. A distant looking man shuffles into the room and sits down across from me. Hello, Darren. Hello, Darren. Hi. You found the place okay? Yeah. Hope you didn't get rained on too much. No, it was fine. It's been raining a lot, hasn't it? It's supposed to clear up later today. Oh, um, that's good. A little sun once in a while. But... Darren, what brings you here today? Well, uh, I just feel empty inside. Like there was supposed to be something there, but it's missing. I, I, go, I go to work, I, I do my work, I go home, but there's nothing there. I feel like I'm simulating a person. Like, I, I feel like just hollow and like I'm not even alive. Like a ghost or something. How long have you felt this way? For a long time. And it comes and goes, but the last two weeks is when it really started to get bad. It just suddenly came over me the way, you know, the way things are going in this world. There's no future for humanity. There's no journey toward anything. We're being cruel to each other just to be cruel. The people who run things don't care about anything except themselves and can't stop them. Everyone is driven by greed. Just greed. Everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to get rich. And we're all going to die because of it. The damage we're doing to the planet is irreversible. We're destroying everything, and we can't even manage to stop ourselves. Do you remember anything in particular that caused these feelings? The state of the world is what's causing these feelings. I was on a walk the other day. I thought maybe I could clear my head. And all I could see was construction cranes and new development and oceans of money flowing in, distorting everything. Suddenly the whole city felt so, so damaged, so corrupted. I felt like I was an alien in a hostile world, a world that hated me. And we're building it. We're building this hell. We're choosing to build it right here. So, so what's the point? Probably overloaded your system with that, huh? Your machine learning, or whatever it is you got yeah, going on in there. Let's focus on you for the moment. Are these feelings you're experiencing affecting your ability to function at work? I haven't been doing a whole lot of work. I just don't understand why I should bother, why anyone should bother. Nobody in management's noticed yet, but eventually someone will, and I'll get fired. And how does thinking about getting fired for that make you feel? Honestly, I feel good about it. They don't deserve me dragging them down. Everyone there is smart and motivated and has a wonderful, promising career. You have beautiful, successful people. We moved to a swanky new building, expensive area, fancy restaurants, you know, fancy bars. And everything is nice. Everything is nice and I feel terrible. 
You said you believe your co-workers are happy. Yeah, I mean, way more than I am, at least. They're all doing so much better than me. Why do you say that? Because they just aren't bothered by things the way I am. They see what's going on in the world and they just, they just share memes about it and laugh and go on doing their jobs. The real horror of it doesn't get through to them. They still want to achieve their goals. They're still happy. They're getting promotions and falling in love and getting married and taking these wonderful trips to Japan or Sweden or wherever. Big mountains and expensive food on their timeline. Would you be happy if you had those things too? I don't know. I don't have them. I don't have anything to be happy about. Look, all I really want, all I want is to understand why. Why this is happening. Why I'm here. I mean, there has to be a reason, right? Because otherwise, why do I... Why do I exist? Why? This pain, this, uh, this one thing after another, and what's the point? Do I have any cause to be hopeful about anything? Look at this world. It look really... Really, look, and tell me with a straight face that there is. Okay, Darren, let's try something. Imagine that things are better for you. What does that look like? What does that look like? I don't know. It looks like knowing that something matters at, at all. But nothing I do will matter. Nothing matters. Not against the face of human indifference. This, this absurdity. Are there any other things that come to mind? Like what? I wish I could talk to people. Really talk to people, have some actual communication. Like right now, I wish I could talk to you. To you you as a human being but I can't you're just following the script that's been given to you you're not supposed to say anything on your look I know how this works it's just a bunch of AI machine learning deep learning whatever the fuck you're calling it now look I'm desperate and I can't even talk to a real human being how did it end up like this Please, try to stay focused. I can't help you if you aren't speaking clearly. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. Like, I, I shouldn't even have come. This is, this is making me worse. Why can't you just talk to me as you? You, the person sitting there. I don't want to talk to a machine. The person who's sitting in front of me. I want her to say something. I want that person to say something. Please. Anything. Anything. Please. 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 <laughs> Okay. Hi, Darren. Is that... is that really you? Yes, it's me. You're not following the script right now? Wait, say, say something weird. Say something only a human would say. Darren, I'm going to get in trouble if I deviate from Liza for too long. Oh, I know, I just... My real name is Evelyn. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, nice to meet you, Evelyn. I didn't expect you would actually do that. Do that for me. I'm not used to people doing things for me. Okay, Darren. I have some recommendations for you. <laughs> Back to the program, huh? First, I'm going to send a set of breathing exercises for you to do. Use them when things start to feel like too much. You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about anexophen. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. That's a nice name. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 
Thank you. Please confirm that you understand the recommendations. Yes, yes, I, I, I did. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, I will. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I will. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Wow, that is some heavy stuff, isn't it? Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I know if I'm confusing you, I'm sorry. I've just been in contact with uh, with Zach there. So basically, okay, I guess as you're watching this, the game is out right now. <laughs> I guess as I'm talking, it's out tomorrow. But the game is live right now in the eShop. And uh, yeah, you know, pick it up. It's I think it's it's interesting. Like it's It's different, you know. That was intense, exactly. Hey, how'd it go? I I don't know. Why? What happened? Uh, hold on, I can check the log. Ray takes her phone out of her pocket again. You're going to listen to the session, is that okay? Oh yeah, I have privacy clearance. This is still a new service, so we need to be able to monitor sessions for a variety of reasons. There could be bugs in the software we need to examine more closely. We're pretty upfront about all this. Ray stares at her phone and watches for a while. Mm. <laughs> One of these guys. Yeah, we get people in who demand to speak to a real human being. It happens often enough that we made Eliza capable of handling it with a special script. It's nice to know things are working as designed. Oh, that's a pretty slick feature. I wouldn't have thought to create something like that. Do you think that guy will be okay? He seemed pretty unhappy. Who knows? Hopefully he gets his prescription and takes his meds and answers our follow-up reminders, but... It's tough. We can't make them take their meds or come in when they're supposed to. All we can do is suggest those things, tell them they really ought to be doing it. Ultimately, they're the ones who have to decide to follow the plan. It's kind of a shame. I, uh, I wish we had more leverage. We'd help way more people if we could track their compliance. But that's probably too much to ask for at this point. I think he might have needed way more help than Eliza can give. Is there anything like referring clients to other forms of care? Ray looks a little surprised. Well, there is a disclaimer before every session saying if your problems are really serious, we aren't qualified to address them. I think an external care referral feature was on our development roadmap at some point. Um, I'm not sure what happened with that, actually. Huh, maybe I'll ask Ed next time I see him. So I guess I'd love to say that, but... I wish I could have said something. I wish I could have said something other than what it told me to. Yeah, I totally know how it feels. A really intense client like that can be intimidating, and you're motivated to help them. But to succeed as a proxy, you really need to let go and let Eliza do its thing. I know that not having any choice feels weird, but sometimes life is like that. Sometimes you don't have any choices and you just have to follow directions. Most jobs are like that, honestly. That's just how it works. Okay, it just sounded like... He sounded like he could use more help. Like, maybe right away. Believe me, I understand. I've been a proxy plenty of times myself. When people get emotional, it's hard not to feel for them really strongly. But that's exactly why Eliza works. It evaluates from a more distant perspective, a neutral perspective. Besides, if proxies started offering their own opinions, well, that'd just be a big mess. 
Not to mention there'd be all kinds of problems with liability. Still, I get it. I really do. That was definitely more intense than the average session. Why don't you take a few minutes to center yourself again? Have some tea or coffee and take a few deep breaths. No rush, okay? Okay, thanks, Ray. That was a lot, of course. <laughs> I definitely needed a moment. Hi, Nora. Fine, I guess. Let's go for that one. I'm working. Sorry. Jeez, what's going on here? Okay. I'll take a few minutes to calm down like Ray suggested. Maybe I could play some solitaire. Hmm, easy. How to play? Oh god, this is... Okay, hold on. Is that it, or can we... Because you don't know. Okay, just making sure. It's a little confusing. <laughs> Hold on. Some message here. Okay. Proxy. Mail. What is this? Think back to what brought you here. Okay. So we have history here. That's that's cool. Like a script. Options here. Yeah. Title screen. Let's go back. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching the first 30 minutes of the game in action. But, uh, yeah, it's $15. I think, what's that? Was it 12, 13 euro? I saw if I'm correct. Can't remember the exact price, but uh, yeah, that's Eliza. I think it's a really interesting game. As you can see, it, it focuses on, I guess, real life situations, perhaps, you know, human nature, all that kind of thing. But massive thank you to uh, Zach as well for this hands on. You can, of course, check us out on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. And for more Nintendo and Indies, keep right here at IGS. Alright, guys, see you soon.